They are going to look so good in this tank. Look at them, all right? Oh my goodness, look at that. What is up, you guys? Welcome back to another video, and uh, I'm expecting a few little blue shrimp to be coming in within the next few hours or so. Uh, they should be coming in today, hopefully. Now, shrimp are something that have gained a lot of popularity in the past year or so in the aquarium hobby. A lot of people have gotten into them and started keeping them, and they just overall have gained a lot of interest of people. So, uh, what I decided to do is actually order 10 of the blue uh, velvet shrimp, and uh, we're gonna try them out. We're gonna try them out over there in the inler tank because we got a bunch of guppy grass in there, and I'm actually keeping two little creeping charlie plants in there for the time being those are actually going to be going into the guppy pond but for right now i'm keeping them in there so so this is mainly my endler tank we have about 10 male endlers and then two female guppies who have had all of the babies in here they've had about four batches of babies in the past few months and uh, some of the babies they're still they're still kind of growing but they're getting bigger and bigger every single day so that's good to see now we also have two little panda cories and two little zebra loaches there's one of the zebra loaches right there um uh, that could be a threat it could and if i start noticing those little guys kind of going after the shrimp then i would definitely uh have to take them out and i uh, would we'll just drop them down here into this guppy tank and by the way the four guppies that we got in the last video they're all doing great i actually got them in yesterday uh, i know the video for you guys was three days ago but this is actually now just now the next day but those guys are doing really really good and of course they're not going to be displaying all of the color right now because they're nowhere near full grown uh, but hopefully here within the next two months or so as they get bigger and bigger they'll start to show a lot more color uh, and eventually start to breed in here now this is something I need to update you guys on the saltwater tank so as you can see uh, the naked mocha clownfish is no longer in here I did go ahead and take him back to the store and luckily somebody had already bought him the same day so that's good and you can also see I moved the candy canes over here into a much more stable spot to where the hawkfish can't knock them off anymore and also move the zoanthids in place of where they were at and the hammers they're doing great as well but here's the deal the only other fish in here right now is the hawkfish and he's been the only fish in here uh, for about the past week now you guys may or may not know but I've actually had a few fish jump out of that tank in the past like not outside of the tank but back in the filter compartment to where they're like outside of the water and I think what's been going on is this hawkfish has been chasing them out or at least pestering them until they eventually jump out now I've mentioned this before hawkfish are predators they're small predators but they're still a predatory fish they will go after little fish and little bitty crustaceans and any little bitty things they see moving that they think they can eat they will go after them and the last two clownfish that I had in there listen they would be chilling up there at you know just swimming around and stuff and the hawkfish would be down here in the rocks and that's why they call them hawkfish because they would sit there and perch and as soon as they see something they would dart out after it like a hawk would and he would be sit there and then just dart up there and just pick the crap out of the dang clownfish, come back down a few minutes later, I'd sit there and watch him, and uh, he would go right back up there and do it again. So, now listen, I do not want to get rid of this guy. I've had him for about three months now, and he's such a cool fish. He's got a ton of personality, and like every time I walk out this door, he just darts out and just greets me right here at the side of the tank. If I'm gonna put more fish in there, and I really only want to have like three or four fish in there anyways, I'm gonna have to get rid of him. It's as simple as that. At this point, there's no way that I can risk any more fish jumping out. I've lost some really, really cool clownfish to that hawkfish, and I really do not want to do that again. So unfortunately, I'm going to be taking this guy back to the store, and we're actually going to be getting our two new clownfish for the tank. And uh, we're probably going to have the two clownfish, probably a royal grama, and some other little bitty fish and uh, that'll pretty much complete the tank as far as fish I really don't want to do it because like I said he is such a cool fish I mean he really is but ultimately that's just what has to be done we've got him in a tiny bag for ten Oh my gosh, look at them. Holy cow. So I know they're really hard to see right now, but these guys look nice. They look really cool. Kind of freaking them out because I just put them out of the box. But uh, check those guys out. Look at the blue in them. That is amazing. Holy cow. We're going to get these guys right on the end of the tank. Let them go ahead and start acclimating. And uh, we can get a better look at them. Check them out though. They are going to look so good in this tank. Look at them. That is gonna look so cool in here. They're just so vibrant and blue. Like every bit of their body is just like a dark blue. You see all the guppies and the endlers checking them out. And uh, they are, they're just gonna look so nice in here. These guys are actually bigger than I thought they were gonna be. Like these are adult blue velvet shrimp. Like all 10 of them are. They all look really, really nice. Um, so I don't think we're gonna have a problem out of the little zebra loaches. I'm almost positive we won't out of the little quarry cats. 
Uh, and these guys are going to stay mainly up here in this guppy grass and uh, on the creeping charlie over there. So hopefully they'll kind of stay out of the way of the little loaches. And like I said, if they don't, I don't think it's going to be that big of a problem anyway. But like I said, if I notice the loaches trying to eat them, I will take them out right then and uh, put them right down there in that guppy tank. Check those guys out though. Man, I cannot get over that. Now I can see why these things have gotten so popular. So I'm gonna let those little guys acclimate for about 30 minutes or so, and then we're gonna come back and put them right on into their new tank. But while they acclimate, uh, let's feed the guard. We'll give a piece to Jack Dempsey first, so that way he won't steal all the food from him. We'll get that piece, and uh, now we'll be able to feed the guard. Oh, 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 look at that. Jack Dempsey was trying to jump out of the water for it. I'm trying to, look at it, he did it again. I'm trying, oh my gosh, look at this. I'm just gonna let him have this piece. Come on, got it. All right, now let's give a big piece to the guard. Look at that. Got it. And he'll chop that right on down. Just like that. Gone. I'll give him one more, more piece. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, he got it. He's just trying to get it from him, though. Look at this. He's trying to get it from him. He got that piece, though. So the exotic pond that we got set back up uh, a few videos ago, uh, the water is crystal clear now, but it's really low. Check it out. So it's like half as low as it was when you guys first saw it, but it's looking pretty good. Now, why is it this low? That is not just evaporation. That's because the filter actually had a leak on it, and uh, I actually repaired that leak just by siliconing around it, and uh, now that that's fixed, now we can fill it back up. The only reason I don't have it filled back up right now is because I'm actually out of dechlorinator. Yeah, you would think I would have, like, a stock of dechlorinator with all the tanks and ponds that I have but I'm actually out of dechlorinator right now so when I go uh, to work in a few days I'll actually get some more dechlorinator and then we'll fill this pond back up but it's crystal clear now it actually cleared up uh, pretty quickly about a day or so after I set it back up and uh, it's looking pretty nice so uh, the guard that we just fed he's gonna be the first fish that actually goes back in here and uh, then we'll probably get like an Oscar a little peacock bass and probably a marble a car catfish and then maybe like one other big South American cichlid and that'll pretty much complete this pond and of course if you guys have any other suggestions for this pond feel free to comment them down below well so I've been about 45 minutes and all 10 of the shrimp have now acclimated to the tank so uh, let's go and take them out of the bag and get them into the tank just gonna dump all 10 of these guys in the net and get them right on in there. I think we'll keep the plant in there too. It's a, it's another free-floating plant, pretty similar to guppy grass, which is what we have in the tank. But here they are, all ten of them. All right. Oh my goodness, look at that. They are gonna stand out in this tank. Okay, so they've all kind of scattered around the tank, but there's one of them right there. And I uh, noticed two of them went down here. And uh, man, look at that. Off that white sand, they look so good. Oh, there's another one right there going at the glass but uh the quarry is they're about to come in contact with them here in a second because they're you know obviously moving around the bottom so uh it'll be interesting to see what happens once they do that but as far as the other what seven or eight of them i have no clue where they went it's gonna be really hard to find them right now anyways oh there's one of them right there you can see one of them right there and um yeah, I don't know where the rest of it went though. Now, like I said, these shrimp, they're gonna spend most of their time up here in the plants and stuff, and occasionally we'll spot one down here on the sand, but you gotta keep in mind we just put them in the tank and they're still trying to find their way around it. Look at the quarry. Yep, doesn't even pay any attention to them. So that's good to see. Uh, my worry is not too much with the quarry, it's more with the zebra loaches, but I still don't think we're gonna have a problem out of those guys. But like I said, if I do see a problem, I'll just go and take them out. But, uh, Man, these shrimp look nice. If these shrimp do really, really good in here and start breeding, that is going to be a freaking amazing. That would be so cool to have these shrimp start breeding here and just have a whole bunch of little blue shrimp in here. I think that would be so cool. But I'll give you guys an update on them in a few days and I'll see how they're doing then. But I would definitely be keeping a very, very close eye on them. So it's been about three days now since we added all 10 of the shrimp to the inler tank and uh, for the most part they're all doing really really good. You just will never see all 10 of them at once is one thing I've noticed and when you first look at the tank, like I mean check it out, you don't see a single one and we put 10 of those guys in there and they were all fully bright blue and you don't see a single one but you have to get up really close and you see that one right there, there's one of them right there and I noticed that if you look through the side part of the tank you can start to see a few more. So you just have to look at it from, you know, different angles and different viewpoints of the tank, and then you kind of start to spot more and more. But yeah, for the most part, like I said, they're all doing really, really good. And uh, there's one of them right there. Let's see if I can find a few more. You can barely see them, but you see that little bit of blue right there? That is another one. So yeah, they're just really, really hard to spot. But hopefully over the next few months, if they can, you know, start to breed in here, there will be more and more. Now, as far as the baby surviving, that's one thing that, um, 
is not a very good chance of happening. Just because of the zebra loaches and the panda quarries, and while the loaches might not be bothering them right now, they will definitely, without a doubt, eat the little baby shrimp. So, it is a really small chance of getting any babies to actually, you know, raise up in here, but... I'm not going to be keeping those zebra loaches near it permanently. I'm just kind of raising them up a little bit in here, getting a little bit more size on them. And then they're actually going to be going into the hexagon tank, which is uh, right over there. So it is a very small chance of raising up any baby shrimp in there. But like I said, it could happen. I'm not saying that it will, and I'm not saying that it won't. It's just a very, very slim chance of actually any of the babies making it and getting, you know, fully grown. Now, depending on how those blue velvets do in that tank, I might end up getting some other type of shrimp for the tank below it in the other guppy tank. So I don't I don't know, but let me know your guys' thoughts on the new shrimp and uh, how you like them, if you do like them, if you don't like them in the tank, and uh, if you think there is a chance of maybe raising up some baby shrimp in there, let me know as well. Stay tuned, stay positive through all this stuff that's going on right now, and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace!